Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is OneSkill and today I will show you something amazing. Today I will show you how you can add the same video background for multiple slides. Let's say you have five different slides in your presentation and you want the same video background playing through all of those slides. Today I will show you how you can do that. And as always, let me start with a quick example. So now you can see a video running in the background. And now let me just change a couple of slides on top of that video. As you can see, the same video is playing and the slides are changing. How cool is that? That's simply awesome. And now I will show you how you can do that yourself. Really very easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And as always, before we dive into the action, I want to say huge thanks to all of my Patreons who support me on Patreon.com. So Andrew, Brad, Galaman, Hans, Jacob, Krista, Makaya, Michelle, Permanent, Pelek, Philip, Richard, Robert, Thomas, and Tim. Thank you guys. Because of you, I can create videos like this. So thank you very much. And let's get going. And of course, if you're wondering what Patreon is all about, just go to patreon.com slash oneskill and find it all about. Lots of awesome rewards are waiting for you if you choose to support me. So ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, open up a blank new presentation. Let's uh, select layout blank. Let's actually make the background uh, dark for this, for this uh, tutorial, so it will be easier on your eyes, okay? So the big trick is actually, of course, you have to first uh, have all of your slides. So let me quickly paste some slides from uh, OneSkill Slide Builder so that we don't have to, you know, create everything from the scratch. If you would like to download this uh, OneSkill Slide Builder, it is absolutely free and I will put the download link in the video description. So yeah, feel free to download it. So it's uh, full of, you know, prepared slides that you can use straight away. So for today, I would just, uh, would like just to copy some of these slides. For example, this one. Let's go to our presentation. So I'll just paste it here. Uh, let's uh, preserve the source formatting. So let's say this is our first slide. Now we create a second slide or we can just duplicate this slide. Let's delete everything. Now let's find some new content for our second slide. So for example, this uh, slide. Something about team members, so let's copy everything. Let's get back to our slide. Let's paste the content. Again, let's keep the source formatting. Okie dokie. Yeah, now let's uh, duplicate the slide once again. Let's delete everything. Once again, let's go to OneSkill Slide Builder. Uh, let's copy this. Paste it over here. Oops, I think I uh, just have to keep source formatting again. Yes, okay. And let's just do one more slide. Yeah, for example, this one. Okay, so now let's say that we have one, two, three, four, we have four slides. So the big secret is uh, the first step is you have to group the content of each slide. So just basically now we are in the first slide. So let's just hit Ctrl A to select everything and Ctrl G to group. 
Now let's do the same thing on the second slide, Ctrl A to select everything. We can hit Ctrl G or right click and click on group. So it's uh, the same thing. Now let's group uh, everything here as well. And for the last slide as well, Ctrl A to select everything, Ctrl G to group. And one more cool thing that we can do, we can go to home, we can go to select, selection pane. And we can actually give names. That, for example, this group is called group number nine. But let's actually double click it and let's give it a name slide number one. Because later on we will have to add some animations and it will make really much more easier when we will, you know, properly name these groups according to the slide numbers. So here again, let's uh, give it a name slide number two. And here, slide number three. Okay, so we have four grouped uh, slides. And now all we have to do is uh, we have to put all four slides into one slide and animate them so that they appear one after the other. <laughs> Sounds complicated? Well, let's do let's do it step by step, and you will see that it's not that hard. Okay, so this is our first slide. So let's take this uh, second slide, we can, I don't know, we can cut it, okay, let's just cut it, paste it over here, let's grab the content of the third slide, let's just cut it and paste it onto the first slide as well, and we cut this content of the fourth slide and paste it on the first slide as well. <laughs> So as you can see, everything, everything looks like a complete mess, but don't worry, just delete the rest of the slides. So again, uh, just go to Home, click on Select, go to Selection Pane, and here you can see all of your four slides. So that's uh, pretty useful. You can even click on this, you know, uh, eyeball icon, and this way you can, you know, uh, hide uh, any slide that you want so let's uh, leave only the first slide visible and now all we have to do is just uh, of course select it select this group go to animations and choose for example any appear animation that you want so let's uh, try a float in let's just select the direction flow down so let's look how does it look like something like this so when you click this uh, you know text box will appear uh, don't worry about the video for now we will put the video you know as the last step after we do all of the animations of our slides so you know inserting video will be actually the easiest step okay so we have added this float float in animation and now we just uh, now select it again and go to add animation and we add exit animation and let's choose float out uh, again direction flow down so let's see what do we have so as you can see you now the slide content appears and then it goes away so now we basically just have to copy this animation and paste this animation to the rest of our slides. So the easiest way to do that, so that you don't get lost, you know, in this whole mess. So all you have to do is just select this first content, click on Animation Painter. Now you can hide this first slide. Now unhide the second slide and just paste the animation. Okay. So yeah, now all of the animation is pasted to this uh, select second slide content, okay? Beautiful. So now again, we just select it, click on Animation Painter, we hide the second slide, we unhide the third slide, and we paste the animation. 
So let's uh, hit an animation painter again. We hide the third slide, unhide the first, uh, fourth slide and paste the animation. Now we unhide everything and let's so now you can see all of the you know animations that are applied on slides and now they should appear one after the other you know uh, when we click on the mouse so let's check it out let me just uh, turn off the keycast though for now we don't need to see the shortcuts so this was the first slide here comes the second slide here comes the third slide and here comes the fourth slide so that's the big secret <laughs> and as you can see this uh, selection pane is really useful because you know you can hide uh, all of the slides that you don't need and you can only work with the slide you need so that's uh, pretty pretty useful stuff and of course uh, the last step is we have to insert a video background so we just go to insert find video video on my PC I think I have one video on my desktop so yeah we'll use this one so make sure that your video covers the whole slide so it should be it should have aspect ratio 16 to 9 and of course uh, just send it to back so yeah send it to back and if your video seems to be a little bit too bright as you can see my white letters don't contrast very good on this white video you can always right click on the video click format video and you can play with the brightness of your video so let's say we give it minus 40 and as you can see the video becomes uh, you know darker and your you know slide content stands out much more better so now let's check it out on full screen oh <laughs> one more thing when you select your video just go to playback options and make sure that your video starts automatically let's check it in the animation pane so let's move this uh, video animation to the front so it starts it starts automatically okay so as you can see video is playing in the background and when we click whoop, whoops, <laughs> something went wrong uh, let me just uh, delete this video for for now Let, let's actually repeat the step i think i have made something wrong so video give it minus 40 okay and I think I only have to move this uh, part to the front and make it play automatically Now everything should be okay. So, so as you can see, video is playing. Now comes the first slide. Now it closes. Whoops. <laughs> oh yeah, one more thing. <laughs> I guess I forgot to unhide the rest of the slides. So let's go to home view. home select selection pane and of course yeah you have to unhide all of your slides you know I forgot to unhide them so if you forget to unhide them so they're basically missing the presentation so take number three <laughs> so the video is playing in the background so here was the first slide now comes the second slide beautiful the third slide And here is the last slide. Amazing! So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. Now you know how to 
add a video which will run through all of your slides that you have in your presentation. So that's pretty awesome. So thanks for watching and see you on my next video.